I'm at my buddy Gordon Tronson's house. Uh, if you're a car guy, you probably know who he is. He builds really incredible stuff. I mean, really incredible stuff. Um, but anyways, he just purchased this 58 Corvette and uh, it looks like it's in beautiful shape. And if you want to learn more about it, please follow because you can follow the restoration along with my 54 Corvette, that restoration, mechanical restoration is going on too. So if you want to follow this 58 and 54, you do that. Gordon. Well, this car is I, awesome. Tell me about it. I think this is one of the final of the century. Uh, everybody's talked about coming across a barn find, and uh, I believe this is definitely a barn find. In some uh, case, I think it's a little better because a lot of barn finds I've heard about, they end up being rusty buckets of junk, and it takes a lot of work. This one, uh, the owner originally bought it in 67, and about 1986, he decided to take it off the road and do a full restoration. And him and his wife actually spent the last 20 odd years, whatever it is, and uh, unbelievable what they've done to it. He uh, had the body off, did a frame off, the chassis already done, uh, he even put uh, felt between the uh, leaf springs, which is, I've never seen before. Uh, felt between the leaf springs, wow. <laughs> it's incredible, yeah, I've never seen that. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Uh, all the, every nut and bolt, grease nipple, bushing, everything's done on the chassis. And all the body, as you can see, has been sandblasted or bead blasted, whatever. So it's almost ready for primer. Uh, they, he did an incredible job getting all the lines correct. Uh, I, I just can't imagine the amount of hours and hours he put in it. And unfortunately, uh, about four years ago, the gentleman passed away. And uh, a friend of mine happened to come across it, mentioned to the lady I might be interested. And uh, so she decided that she would sell me the car. And uh, with the promise, my promise to her was once it's all done, I'll be taking her out for a spin in it. Oh, that's awesome. So, and you can't believe every single thing on this car has been boxed, documented, written, all the bolt, nuts and bolts are in plastic containers with where they would belong. Uh, there's tons of new parts with the car. I believe that the only thing I've found so far that's missing is the fuel tank which is not a big deal because uh, I'll end up putting a new one in anyway. But uh, haven't decided what color we're going to paint it. It's a toss up right now, candy apple red or black. So uh, in fact, if uh, anybody, uh, whoever sees this video, you're welcome to make comp comments on what color you'd like to see it. So uh, do you know what color it was originally? Do you have any idea? I believe it was a, a blue originally blue's cool yeah especially we know you like blue yeah i like blue but uh <laughs> i got too many blue cars so this one's definitely going to be different mm. uh you I'm like going to try and keep it completely original uh except you know me i may do something under the hood uh just to make it a little bit different uh i'm not really a big on the matching number of stuff uh but it, it'll be a beautiful car when it's done It'll be a beautiful car when it's done. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I know you have a boatload of parts. Hopefully, uh, you know, you have what you need. But if anybody has parts for a 58, let us know in the comments too, because I'm sure something's going to be necessary. Something will be needed, no matter how good of a job that dude did. It's going to need parts somewhere. Again, if you want to yep. watch this or my 54 pennant blue, follow us. All right. Thank you. Thank you.